If you've seen our previous vlog, you would have seen that we spent almost £800 and spent nearly a whole year to get the visa to come to this country. We've had some highs and we've had some lows and it would not be possible if it wasn't for this beautiful couple. Nevertheless guys, we have made it to Zakaria's 15th country, India! Yeah. You rarely see Pakistanis travelling across the whole of India and for us it was really intriguing. So we broke down the whole visa process in our last vlog. So do check that out if you want to know how we got here. So after a long travel day, we took the first day pretty easy. But today we are going to be exploring the streets of Delhi and the real question is, what is it really like for Pakistanis walking the streets of Delhi? Good morning, Mrs. Priya. What's up, please? Hello. Chill. <laughs> Someone's perky for like sleeping at two o'clock and waking up at five, aren't they? We made it to Yamuna Ghat, guys. Yeah, we have. <sighs> 22, we had a bit of a kerfuffle getting here. Our Uber didn't know where it was and then he dropped us off in the middle of nowhere on the highway. Finally we're here and we've got this lovely boat driver who's gonna take us. Let's go. And it seems like everyone knows where everywhere is until they actually get to the place and they say they don't know where it is. Bear that in mind when you get onto your Ubers and all that kind of stuff. But let's go. Oh, yeah. I forgot to say good morning, guys. Oh, Welcome yeah. to another day here in Delhi. <laughs> yeah. The boat driver's bringing all the bikes this morning. I have to say that kerfuffle in the morning is being overridden by the lovely melodic sound of our boat driver right here. Captain Saab is giving us a nice little serenade. Whenever you get up for sunrise, you always wake up thinking, oh gosh, is it going to be worth it? And then once you're out there, oh gosh, look at this. Right, so that was probably about a 20 minute boat ride. Right, let's go to our next stop shall we? I don't know what Zakaria is doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go. We are in a local area, it looks like people are just starting to wake up. You can see tuk-tuks getting cleaned, people just buying their vegetables this morning. It's a very nice, beautiful and peaceful morning here. Right, so that's our first stop done. Now we're off to the Red Fort. Like always in Delhi and in India, we are in a tuk-tuk. So let's go. I don't think it's that far. It's probably like about a kilometre and a half. It turns out we did actually make it to the Red Fort because the Red Fort is actually closed. It is open until 9 a.m. <laughs> so Jama Masjid is literally a five minute ride away. So we told the tuk-tuk driver to drop us off. And here we are. I think uh, there were some festivities going on here at night time. There's a lot of cleanup activities going on. It might be like this every day. Right in front of me, I can see Jama Masjid right there in all its glory. Let's go and see what this area brings us. It's going to be a lot of this, I think. Right, so even the Jama Masjid, there's three gates and they're all closed. You can't go inside because they do some cleaning up and all that kind of stuff. Open the ride about 11 o'clock. Mosque is always open. Yeah, mosque today. should always be open 24-7, apparently. Yeah, let me actually ask this gentleman over here, see if he can give us some info about whether it's open up for a bit. Uncle, uh, Okay. Bajai Mosque opens for Fajr Namaz, which is the early morning prayer. They open gate number one for a little while and then they close it off again. And then they reopen it according to him at 10 o'clock, not 11. Currently uh, 7 a.m. So we are a tad bit early. Are you partly? It's kind of giving me the uh, back street vibes of when we were in Lahore. Literally in the morning, you can see there's loads of places open for breakfast. It's quite chaotic. You can see there's lots of Muslim people around here, right by the mosque. I didn't expect it to be as busy as it is right now, to be honest. I thought it was going to be quiet. <laughs> Nadia's is a bit overwhelmed. Got our lovely naan bread here, guys. Six rupees, absolutely bargain buckets. It's actually a little bit hot for the here right now, but it looks really fluffy. Perfect for breakfast this morning. Just stopping by a tea stall right across the road. 15 rupees. Can't go wrong with it. Nice hot cup of tea to start the morning off. Bismillah, we always say that before we eat. Oh, 
that is strong and sweet that's why they give it in like these small cups like this because it is sweet and very 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 strong oh yeah that's actually really delicious part b that's the ATC decided to come to you for not playing so we'll come for some breakfast we'll come to starbucks we said it's open at 8 o'clock in the morning it is now 8.01 and guess what guys? Meet me here. It's closed. So I didn't look this morning. We wanted to go to Red Fort, we wanted to go to the mosque, we wanted to go loads of different places and this is not possible. A few moments later. And of course we had to start the day with a traditional Indian breakfast at Starbucks. We've been here a few times. We came here on our first night when we discovered the one and only Nando's! Nando's! And yes, We've had a meal here already, which is absolutely delicious. And the Nando's was, I'd say, good. I would say a good, strong 9 out of 10. But it is very early in the morning here. It's like just past 8 o'clock. So all the shops around here are closed. There's not much going on. I think it comes live around about 11, 12 o'clock. But we just wanted to show you how this area looks really, really nice. Our tuk-tuk driver the other day did say this whole area was built by the British when they ruled India and this whole region and it was named after them as well and this is when New Delhi came about so it's very very nice and uh, very beautiful so I think what we're going to do we've had no look this morning we are going to make our way back to the hotel probably get, so we get some breakfast game down for his nap we'll see what today brings let's see so we're staying in the Pahar Ganj area and we checked into a hotel called Hotel Goodwin <laughs> Hotel Goodwin or Godwin one of those but what I've noticed is this street is very very busy Plus, it's a street just lined with loads and loads of hotels. I've seen quite a few tourists here, and I've been, seen quite a few locals staying here as well, or sort of local <laughs> Indians staying here as well. And I have to say, you have to watch out when you're recording as well, because loads of people are kind of trying to interact with us, and I don't know what they're saying sometimes. But it is busy, you have to watch out for tuk-tuks, cars, everything, right? Yeah, so you think this is busy, guys? We're gonna get into a tuk-tuk now, and we're gonna make our way to the main bazaar. I'm before, before we have to here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll give you the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's go. Right. Let's you recognise us from yesterday? Probably, that's why. But let's go. 100 rupees for about a 12 minute drive, which isn't too bad. So let's just go. Probably could have got it less, but let's go. This is what we're dealing with right now. Hello. Hello. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey! 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 <laughs> So uh, right off the bat, I don't know if I got offered a cigarette there or if I got offered a dodgy cigarette, but it did smell quite funky, but it looks like we're going right into the bazaar now and it is getting busy and busy and busy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So it is currently 4.30, still bubbling hot, busy. Hopefully Zakaria can walk the street. Let's just walk up and down and see what we can find in this bazaar. I heard that, you know, this is where you come just to, for the experience, for all your senses to be exploded. But consider it, we've come from Pakistan, like we've been to Pakistan and Lahore. The Anal Gali Bazaar was like literally, wow. But this is actually really calm. Yeah, I'm like walking around, right? And <laughs> as we think... entered the road, it was manic. Actually but saying yeah. that, I might put some sun cream on him. Yeah, because it is quite, it quite nice. bright and the sun is quite strong, even though it's 4.30. But let's get his sunscreen on and take it from there. Lovely. So what we're getting over here is something that you see in all street side places in India. That is fresh fresh juice. So my guy has just chucked a couple of oranges in there and he is squeezing it all out. There you go. Look at that fresh juice coming out. And there you have it. Fresh fresh juice. Is it good? Yeah. Very good? Pure fresh. Pure fresh orange juice, yeah? Pure fresh orange juice and it's not too bitter, not too tangy. It's nice and sweet. One thing for sure is you can tell we are the tourists walking down the street because we are sweating cobs but all the locals are just walking down as if it's a normal day for them. Very nice, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Right, off to Jama Mesh did we go now. Let's see if it's open this time because when we went earlier, it was closed. So we've just made it to the entrance of uh, Jama Masjid now. It is so busy right now. compared to this morning. Like literally no one was here. This was completely dead this morning. Gates were closed, no one was up and down these stairs, but now it is absolutely packed. We're going to see if we can go inside now and uh, have a look around. So we made it here to 
masjid, guys. Oh. Zakir has given us a tour around the mosque. As with uh, every single mosque, you have to take your shoes off before you enter the main courtyard area, and that's because it's obviously used for a prayer area. In the central courtyard area, there's like a little well where you can do your ablutions and clean up and freshen up a bit as well. And Zakaria is really, really enjoying the open courtyard area and run around. Ah, so very similar to when we visited Badshai Mosque like a few years ago in, in Lahore. The mosque is very, very, very similar. Same feeling when you walk around and almost like the layout yeah. is pretty much, I would say, like exactly the same. But the main mosque area, you got the architecture, similar colours. The flooring exactly like how it was in Bajrai Mosque. And then you've also got these corridors that go down kind of around the side that go into the courtyard. It's almost sunset now, which means Maghrib Mosque. So I think the Azan's going to go off in about 10 minutes. We want to get a little taste of food because we are a bit hungry today. He's not at much as well today. So let's see if we can get something to eat in a bit. Alright, let's go! Nah. So, I read Maghrib Namaz, I couldn't record inside because different masses have different rules but we're trying to cross over now into this side street to go and get some biryani and it's manic behind me! So now we are walking down what is probably the main street where it is absolutely busy, smells, the noises, the people There's so much going on here right now, I don't even know like where I'm going Right, so we've come to the famous uh, Muhammad Tawfiq biryani point and it looks like they do some buffalo and chicken biryani and it's very very busy over here so let's go and order This is the buffalo, you've got all that chunks of meat in there Wow, look at that mashallah That looks absolutely We have the chicken, yeah? This chicken ala, yeah? Okay, right, let's see how he speaks the chicken one out. Oh, look at this man! This is meant to be the best biryani in the whole of Delhi. Let's give it a taste and start with. We'll be the judge of that. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Good biryani. That's fantastic. Nice. We like it. 10 out of 10, bro. A little bit spicy as well. Uh oh. I've got a buffalo one over here, and you know what? The buffalo meat is quite thin. Just gonna scoop up the rice dip again and see how it is. Bismillah. Good. Those masalas are quite strong in there. And you know what? They're not shy with the meat. There's They're not. Meat. There's a lot of chicken meat in there. There's a lot of buffalo meat in there as well. And underneath the nice rice. Little added touch with the pickles. It's very good. Ah, it's going to be spicy for the Korea, but let's see. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh guys, that biryani and the three plates that we had with the water and everything was like 370 rupees in total, which is absolute bagging, bucket. Okay. But you know what? It was quite reassuring at that last place just then to hear what those guys were saying about, you know, Muslim, Pakistani, Hindu, Sikhs, everybody just getting along. And we have witnessed that here. We've been walking around and we've not felt any kind of animosity, even though you can kind of tell from a mile off that we do look Muslim so no one's refused us any taxi service, tuk-tuks or even talk to us in the slightest way this way at all. To ask the question, you know, how do they treat you? I think overall it's been an absolute blast over 24 hours. It has been. The first day has been amazing and I'm just really looking forward to what the next three to four weeks that we're going to spend here is going to be like. We're really excited so make sure you subscribe to our channel to see all of the rest of the adventures. We're going to go to some places which your general tourist do not go to. Don't go to. Think of mountains, borders to the other side of Asia. Ooh, but I for now, we're going to end the vlog here, guys. We hope because we're trying to get out and get a tuk tuk home. For your visions, guys. And Zakaria says, bye bye. See you in the next one. Bye bye. bye.